Next step, now we go about importing all the assets or data that we have compiled for this project. In the case of this project, I did a voiceover session in my studio and I used Pro Tools since that's what my studio is configured for. So I'm going to import these audio files containing two of the best takes of this voiceover session. After that, I'm gonna start importing all the different assets I already collected. I have two different music tracks that I wanna explore, and I have several sound effects tracks that I've collected based on the sound effects list that I created. I can go to File, Import, and select the folder that contains all the assets. In my case, I've created a couple of folders within the project folder containing the different assets, a folder for music, a folder for sound effects, and a folder for the voiceovers. So I am selecting the different audio clips within these folders. The other way to do this is do a simple drag and drop of that audio file from your finders window onto the edit window in Adobe Edition. As I import these music files, I make sure to rename the audio tracks. In this case, I'm just doing music track one, music track two, or annotate some simple difference between them. If you get a message like this from Audition saying the sample rate of the audio file you are importing is a different sample rate than the 48K sample rate we have determined to use in this project, just hit OK. Audition will convert this audio file by upsampling or downsampling the file to fit the correct sample rate for your 48K sample rate session. 